Hi, I'm Dr. Incognito. In this video, we're going to solve an integral using partial fractions. So the problem is to integrate x plus 2 divided by 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 dx. This is an example of what's called a rational function. The word rational comes from the root ratio, meaning ratio of polynomials. So in order to integrate this, what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite the fraction x plus 2 over 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. We're going to rewrite that as a sum of simpler fractions. So notice first that the denominator factors. So this is x plus 2 divided by 2x x, let's see, two numbers that multiply together to give negative 3 will be negative 3 and 1, and we want to get 5x, so I think we should put plus 3 here and minus 1 there. So the denominator factors uh, as 2x minus 1 times x plus 3. So the partial fraction decomposition will look like a constant over 2x minus 1 plus another constant over x plus 3. If we were to add these two fractions together, the denominator would become 2x minus 1 times x plus 3, which is what we want. And the numerator would be uh, some linear function, a times x plus 3 plus b times 2x minus 1. And we want that to give us x plus 2. <clears throat> so the main point is that this integral, if we write it using the partial fractions a over 2x minus 1 plus b over x plus 3, uh, the integral can be solved because these simpler fractions we can integrate without too much trouble. So to integrate those, uh, recall the integral of 1 over x dx is equal to the natural log of the absolute value of x plus c, and as a minor modification, the integral of 1 over ax plus b dx, which is what we have in both of these fractions, 2x minus 1 and x plus 3, they both have the form of a linear function of x, that is going to equal 1 over a times the natural log of the absolute value of ax plus b. You could do a u substitution if you like, u equals ax plus b, but we'll just use this uh, formula to integrate each of those. So our integral is a times 1 over 2 times the natural log of the absolute value of 2x minus 1 for the first fraction, plus b times the natural log of the absolute value of x plus 3, plus a constant. So that's basically our answer, except we need to figure out the values of the constants a and b. Uh, so we'll do that, and then we'll plug those numbers in, and that will be our final answer. So notice the order in which I'm doing things. First, write the nature of the decomposition, the form of the decomposition, then you can integrate that without knowing the values of a and b. So next, we'll figure out a and b and plug those numbers in. So let's take a moment and look back at this equation here. x plus 2 over the denominator 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 is equal to the sum of these two fractions. So let me just move this up here. a over 2x minus 1 plus b over x plus 3. Now take this equation and multiply both sides by 2x squared plus 5x minus 3, which of course is 2x minus 1 times x plus 3. Multiply both sides by the common denominator of those two. So we will get x plus 2 is equal to a times x plus 3 plus b times 2x minus 1. When we multiply the right side by 2x minus 1 times x plus 3, for the first fraction, the 2x minus 1 will cancel, 
and we'll be left with A times X plus 3. Similarly, for the second fraction, we'll get B times 2X minus 1. Now, to figure out A and B, we can plug certain X values in. For example, if we let X equal negative 3, then the A will uh, be multiplied by 0, and so we'll be left only with B. So if X is minus negative 3, then X plus 2 is negative 1. That will equal A times 0, that's the point plus b times, let's see, negative 3 for x is negative 6 minus 1 is negative 7. So b is equal to 1 7th. So that's going to go in here in our final answer. Let's figure out a first. To figure out a, we would like maybe to make the quantity in the parentheses equal to 0, uh, the quantity that's next to b, so let x equal one half. Let x equal one half. Then we get one half plus two, which is five halves, is equal to a times one half plus three is seven halves. And then of course it's b times zero. That's why we chose x equals one half. So a is equal to five over two times. 2 over 7, which is 5 over 7. So our final answer then, our final answer is the integral is equal to a times a half is going to be 5 over 14 times the natural log of the absolute value of 2x minus 1 plus b is 1 7 times the natural log of the absolute value of x plus 3 plus c. So there's our final answer. Okay, so this has been a, a brief look at integrating using partial fractions where the denominator factored into distinct linear factors. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful.